Hello kids, how are you today? I hope you all are doing good. Because for now, I will be reading to you just a short story titled Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl who was loved by everyone who looked at her, but most of all, by her grandmother. And there was nothing that she would not have given to the child. Once she gave her a little cap of red velvet, which suited her so well that she would never wear anything else. So she was always called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Come, Little Red Riding Hood, here is a piece of cake and a bottle of wine. Take them to your grandmother. She is ill and weak, and they will do her good. Set out before it gets hot, and when you're going, walk nicely and quietly, and do not run off the path, or you may fall and break the bottle, and then your grandmother will get nothing. And when you go into her room, don't forget to say good morning, and don't peep into every corner before you do it. I will take great care, said Little Red Riding Hood to her mother and gave her hand on it. The grandmother lived out in the wood, half a league from the village, and just as Little Red Riding Hood entered the wood, a wolf met her. Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was, and was not at all afraid of him. Good day, Little Red Riding Hood, said he. Thank you, kindly wolf. Whither away so early? Little Red Riding Hood. To my grandmother's. What have you got in your apron? Cake and wine. Yesterday was baking day, so poor sick grandmother is to have something good to make her stronger. Where does your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? A good quarter of a league farther on in the wood. Her house stands under the three large oak trees and the nut trees are just below. We surely must know it, replied Little Red Riding Hood. And then the wolf thought to himself, What a tender young creature. What a nice plump mouthful. She would be better to eat than the old woman. I must act craftily. So as to catch both. Uh, so he walked for a short time by the side of Little Red Riding Hood. And then he said, See Little Red Riding Hood, how pretty the flowers are about here. Why do you not look around? I believe that you do not hear how sweetly the little birds are singing. You will gravely along as if you were going to school, while well, everything else here in the wood is merry. Little Red Riding Hood raised her eyes, and when she saw the sunbeam dancing here and there through the trees, and pretty flowers growing everywhere, she thought, Suppose I take Grandmother a fresh nosegay. That would please her too. It is so early in the day that I shall still get there in, in good time. And so, she ran from the path into the woods to look for flowers. And whenever she had picked one, she fancied that she saw a still prettier one farther on and ran after it. And so get deeper and deeper into the wood. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Who is there? Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf. She is bringing cake and wine. Open the door. Lift the latch, called out the grandmother. I am too weak and cannot get up. Then the wolf lifted the latch. The door sprang open 
and without saying a word, he went straight to grandmother's bed and grasped the poor and old woman who's trying to fight back, but can't make it to stand against the wicked wolf. Little Red Riding Hood, however, had been running about picking flowers, and when she had gathered so many that she could carry no more, she remembered her grandmother and set out on the way to her. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open. She such had a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today. And at other times, I like being with my grandmother so much. So, Little Red Riding Hood went into the room quietly and carefully. And there, she found the wolf almost happened to bite her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood shouted for help. And the wolf jumped at her and tried to bite her. The huntsman heard the child screaming. So he ran directly toward the cottage, and there he found a wolf attempting to kill for the little red riding hood. He beats the wolf with his gun until it loses its strength and thought it won't stand back again. So the huntsman carry little red riding hood's grandmother and send them going home. But the wicked wolf had regained its strength, and then he jumped toward the huntsman, which caused his gun thrown away. The huntsman put down the old woman and fight back against the wolf. What little Red Riding Hood did was he go after and get the gun. The huntsman was out of strength, so little Red Riding Hood point out the gun towards the wolf and fired three times, which happened to kill the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood, however, quickly fetched great stones with which they filled the wolf's belly. And when he awoke, he wanted to run away, but the stones were so heavy that he collapsed at once and fell dead. Then all three were delighted. The huntsman drew off the wolf's skin and went home with it. The grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine, which Little Red Riding Hood had brought and revived. But Little Red Riding Hood thought to herself, As long as I live, I will never ever leave the path by myself to run into the wood when my mother has forbidden me to do so. And no one ever did anything to harm her again. And that's the end of the story. I hope you like it. But before I'm going to end this video, I just want to leave a message. As quoted, don't trust anyone blindly. Life is full of fake people. Most people you meet with are with you only for their own sake and interest never open up to anyone and when someone breaks your trust don't feel stupid for trusting them again so thank you so much this is Haiza Elaine Lopez Fibrada from the College of Teacher Education taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English thank you